But some of you cannot make it because you always have headache problems. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Deliverance of the head. Deliverance of the head. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Mara si brahasia. Mara sabayataya. Mariko si bradas. Vrekas i brahasia. Deliverance of the hate is my message of tonight. And I believe it will do you well once you know why the enemy wants your hate. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Deliverance of the hate. Can we first take this prayer before I go further? Can we take this prayer? Father, correct my head. Correct my mind. Correct my head. Correct my mind. Correct the mind of Flora. Correct the head of Flora. My father, correct my head. My father. Correct my head, 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 Misa. You need that prayer, Ruth. You need that prayer, Mommy Edith. You need that prayer, Yeshasha. You need that prayer, Olivia. You need that prayer. Father, correct my head, correct my head, correct my head, correct my head. Father, correct my head, correct my mindset, correct my head. Tonight in this message, correct my head, correct my head, correct my head, correct my head, kapatite tete, correct my head, Holy Ghost, correct my head, please pray, 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 my father, correct my head, 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 in the name of Jesus. Why head? Why head? Why head in all things? Why is the devil attacking your head, Florida? Why is the devil so interested in your head, Mami Edith? Why is the devil interested in your head, Rina? Why is the devil interested in your head, Justice? You are hate. You are hate. You are hate. You are hate. Why is the devil interested in your hate? Deliverance of the hate. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 17. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 17. If you can give me all different versions, it will do me well. My head, haparisepea. Why is the devil interested in your head, Sharon? My head. Why is the devil interested in your head? Number one, the Bible said, but when you fast. Can you read for me, Pastor Justice, please? I read. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Matthew, Matthew 6, verse 17 says, when you go without food, wash your head. Wash your face and comb your hair. Hallelujah. I go more further. Read for me the one for you are the reader of promise. Okay, praise Master Jesus. In the comment section says Matthew 6, verse 17. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face. Another one says, But when you fast, perfume your head and wash your face. Hallelujah. Another one says also. For thou when they fasted, anoint thy head and wash thy face. Anoint yeah. thy head, Father, anoint my head, Father, anoint my head, 
Omakatabaya. Anoint my head, Kapura Sutele Kompa. Belito Patele Kata. Why my head? Why is the enemy after your head? Your head is not only your head, but your head contains a vision. Eyes, eyes are visions, Flora. Eyes, eyes are visions, ears. Hey, the enemy is not just on head, but he has seen something upon your life that he has covered everything. My head, oh Lord, anoint my head. Oh Lord, anoint my head. They didn't say they anoint the feet. They didn't say they anoint the hand. They said, My head. The Spirit of the Lord has anointed me. Oh Lord, anoint my head. My goodness. My head is a symbol of acceptance. My head. Ah. Number one, my head is a symbol of acceptance. People of God, they don't accept a person without seeing their face. Even when you are doing interview, brother, they say, bring your face. My face, my head. My face, my head. How many of you, you just spoke, and they said, we have given you a job without seeing your face. People of God, they need your head. <laughs> Why would the daughter of hell ask for the head of John? It is because the head of John was so anointed, more than the king. He said, give me the head of John on the bread. People of God, there was two things they said they should give to that woman half of the kingdom. So the head of John was half of the kingdom. Your head is greater than the kingdom. Your head is greater than the kingdom. <laughs> People of God, the head. The head has mouth. 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 I'll be giving you why the enemy is after your head and why the deliverance of the head is needed. Somebody say my head. Be anointed for tonight. My head be anointed for greatness. My head be delivered from manipulation. Everything begins in the head. Fear in the head. Manipulations in the head. Attacks in the head. My goodness. My head is a symbol of acceptance. You anoint my head with oil. Why would the Lord anoint David on the head? Because he was going to kill a man called Gorias by the head. People of God, it was only David that killed Gorias. He did not kill any other thing. But he had to cut off the head because the anointing on David was to kill heads. <laughs> hey, God, yes, was the head of problem, the head of prosperities, the head of darkness. By the power of the Holy Ghost, everything that is ahead of you, that is not of God, to limit your seeing, to limit your, your success, let it be cut off by the power of the Holy Ghost. My head be delivered. My head be saved. My head, my head, my head. My head is the symbol of acceptance. Without the head, there is no acceptance. Hello. Somebody said, my head, you will not reject prophecy. I'm here to prophesy tonight. Oh. My head will not reject prophecy. My head will not reject prophecy. My head will not reject prophecy. Praise Master Jesus. Hello. My head will not do what? Will not reject prophecy. Your head will not reject that anointing of greatness. Your head will not reject that favor of God. 
my hand. Praise Master Jesus. He has anointed my head with oil for greatness. He has prepared me for the battles. Praise Master Jesus. Am I speaking to somebody? My head will not be rejected. Amen. My head, you will not reject prophecy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Am I Amen. speaking to somebody? Is that when you fast, make sure your head. He didn't say make sure, he said your head should carry anointing. Your head should carry vision. Your head should carry greatness. Your head. But when you first put oil on your head, put oil on your head, put a new mindset on your head, put a new thing on your head, your head carries greatness. First Samuel chapter 17 and verse 51. Deliverance of the head. Deliverance of the head. Deliverance of the head. My head, you will not reject prophecy. My head, you will not reject vision. But when you fast, put oil on your head. How many of you, when you fast, you have a new character? How many of you, you fast, you have a new vision? How many when you fast? But some of you, your head is telling you food. Your head is telling you bitterness. Your head is telling of yesterday problems. Your head is taking you back to longevity. But the Lord is saying when you fast, have a new attitude, have a new revelation, have a new seeing. Stop seeing like your friends and begin to see the way God says you should see. Read so, read for me, Pastor Justice. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise Master Jesus. I read 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 51. Mm. David ran and stood over him. Hey. He, told, he took hold of his Palestine's sword mm. and draw it from the sweat. Mm. After he killed him, he cut off his head ah. with the sword. When the Palestine saw that their hero was dead, they turned and ran. Hallelujah. That Praise the Lord. Lord. He cut off the head. Listen to me, people of God. He cut off the head. Goliath was the head of the Palestinians. As long as he was standing, the other people were boasting about. Hello. But immediately the head of, 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 of a great soldier who was pressed down. People of God, people freed. Is somebody hearing me? And I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Your head is anointed to bring down the Goliath's head. The head that has frustrated your family, the head that has frustrated your generation, the head that has brought problem day and night. The Bible says the head of Goliath brought problem day and night. As we are we were hearing from us saying that, that she's in fear because in the morning she's in fear, at night she's in fear. They are fears of the day and they are the fears of the night. As you sleep, they attack you in the dream. They attack your head. They pick that things in your mind if they don't have you in the day they have you of a night by the power of the holy ghost oh god deliver my head from manipulations are you hearing me people of god deliverance of what of the head imagine in the morning you are seeing gorillas at night you are seeing gorillas so day and night gorillas is on your head hello it takes a mind that is focused to kill a Goliath's head. The Goliath's size of problems is just there. But if you are not focused, Goliath will keep you in bandage because that is his mindset. Listen to me, people of God. Hey. It's a vision that gives a force. It's a vision that gives a force. 
it is that vision that you have that will give a force to exercises. It is that vision you have that will give a force to good things. Begin to force yourself to see good things out of your mind. Deliverance of the hate. Hello. In your head, you have the eyes. Somebody say eyes. Somebody say eyes. Somebody say eyes. In your head, you have eyes. Praise Master Jesus. Marika Paradia. If a man has no vision, he has no focus. If you have no vision, you cannot focus. Hello. Are you with me? Are you with me? Are you Amen. with me? Matthew chapter 6 and verse, Matthew chapter 5, sorry, verse 29. Matthew chapter 5 and 29, deliverance of the head. Why is it so important for your head to be delivered? Deliverance of the head. Hallelujah. Yes, please read for me. I read Matthew chapter 5 from verse 29 says, so if your right eyes cause you to sin, Mm. Take it out and throw it away. It is much than to have your whole body throw into hell. Hallelujah. That is the word. When a man's vision is affected, a man, a man is 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 broke. When a man's vision is affected, a man's speed is affected. There are some of us who you are watching me here. Your vision is slowed because they have affected the way you think. You are capacity of thinking. You are capacity of seeing. You are capacity of reasoning is at a slow motion. You used to see very far, Flora. You used to see very far, Flora. You used to have a vision. But now your mind is manipulated and is slowed. You can no longer think. That's why they are after your hate. Somebody say, Lord, deliver my head. Am I communicating to somebody? If your eye causes you to stumble, God, every spirit that is making men to stumble in their visions, in their operation, in their acceleration, by the power of the Holy Ghost, Father, deliver my sight that I may see. Amen. Again. Deliverance of the head. I say the head has eyes. And you are, the eye speaks of your vision. Hello. And the Bible says, and if a eye offend. <laughs> Read for me Patrick's version. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise Master Jesus. Mm. We are reading from the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 29. It says, and if the right eyes offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from, from <coughs> thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of the one of the members should perish not to and not to not and not the whole body shall be cast into hell. The Bible says to have eyes that has no vision to have eyes that has no power of sight is an offense to the eye anything that is on your body that is not bringing profit is not helping you it is an offense to your body eyes we had the teachings of rebecca this morning oh lord i want to see oh lord i want to see oh lord i want to see there are many of you that are here under the sound of the Hispanic kingdom. You have eyes that have not benefited you. So you need deliverance. Why was Lazarus's life wiped away? The Bible says they wiped the face of Lazarus to delay him, to stop him. Once your face is wrapped with different ideas, different mentalities, you will never move forward. You are in the grave. You are in the cave. You are stopped by the circumstances of the past because your vision is scattered. So, is somebody hearing me? Is somebody getting me? So, when a man's vision is affected,
the man is stopped. The man is scattered. The man will never move forward. Somebody say, Lord, deliver my vision. Lord, deliver my visions. Lord, deliver my visions that I may see the way you want me to see. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We remain the same when we see the same. We remain the same when we think the same. We remain on the same spot as sisters and brothers from the same family when we refuse to see in the same vision that the Lord has given us. Lord, deliver my eyes. Deliver my visions, Holy Ghost. Whatsoever has limited my visions to see limitation, to see problems, to see failure, to see fear, tonight, Holy Ghost, I correct back my sight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We remain on the same spot when we see the same things. Hello. How many of you are seeing Hello. the same things? You can't move. If you are seeing the same way as your mother failed, you remain like your mother, Olivia. If you see the same thing that affected your father, you remain on the same spot. When Rota's wife began to see like the people of Sodom, she remained in Sodom on the same spot up to this time because her sight was affected by the things of now, by the things of immediately, by the things of now affected the sight of the wife of Rota. Father, deliver my eyes from the things of now from the things of manipulation, from the things of my father's home, from the altars of my father, backward spirits, deliver my sight, Holy Ghost. Deliverance of the head. Once they attack your head, you can't see. Remember that. Once your head is, how many of you have headache that you cannot even rise up? You can't see. Even if they bring million justice on the other head you used to have, do not tell them that it is uh, Dirham 2 or Dirham 1. They have affected everything that belongs to you. It becomes nonsense. It is becomes nothing. If you are I, serves as a, tra a trip. It has become an obstacle in your life. Say, so, Lord, deliver my eyes that I may not see him to see the same things as my village people see. I will not remain on the same spot. My sight will not be on the same spot. Do you remember when Jesus was taken to heaven? The disciples were looking, their eyes were on the same spot. The angels of the Lord came and said, This is not the right. Jesus is not on the same spot. He has gone. Deliverance from the eye. Amanamaya. Mara Parabataya. When I see ahead of you, I go ahead of you. When I see ahead of you, justice, I go ahead of you. Begin to see ahead of you. Moisa, begin to see ahead of you. Peace begin to see ahead of you. Nicholas begin to see ahead of you. Maria begin to see ahead of you. Judith begin to see ahead of you. I was seeing a thousand when I ministering on TikTok. I was seeing billions bowing to worship the Lord. Last time I went to, to 2020 Expo and I recorded something. And I said, Lord, in my generation, I desire something bigger than this. I said, Lord, if people can give us this something like this to worship you it will do it will it be bad holy ghost i was telling him jesus i need something like this not people they are seeing this they, they don't know what they're saying but me i'm seeing people gathered in worship begin to see our hate why do we need deliverance When if a man has no vision, he has no dealings of focus. Praise the Lord. 
If a man has no vision, he has no dealings with focus. Praise the Lord. Say, I refuse to see the same way my friends are sick. I refuse to see the same way my mother sick. Have you ever told people about your vision? The problem is that even you that the dreamer, the vision bearer, you don't know your vision, like Joseph. Joseph spoke of his vision. He did not, he did not understand his vision. Because his vision and dreams were so big. <laughs> that was the only problem. He spoke the vision to the people who had no dream for their life. I refuse to see like my brother. I refuse to see like my friends. I refuse to see the way my friends are seeing. When I see the mountain, I leave you in a varish. When I see offices, I leave a parikotopaya. Once you begin to see the A, once you begin to see United States of America, you have left people in Dubai. People may be in Dubai, Maria, but you have left Dubai already. People may be in Uganda. You have left Uganda already because you are not speaking like Ugandans. You are not seeing yourself like a Ugandan. I told you I'm not a Ugandan. I told you I am not from Uganda. I am from above. So I see and I operate like the one that is from above because I've refused to be, to be, to be scattered and stopped by the visions of this world. Come on, Amaya. So when I see something about tomorrow, I walk in a natural into tomorrow. Naturally, I walk in today. Naturally, I walk in my... Uh, you know, the Lord was telling me, he said, Penina, from today, if you say, if you hear me address, uh, introduce my husband, don't be shocked. He said, you, from starting today, you'll be ministering with your husband. So I apologize. My husband is here. <laughs> The great man of God is here. The Lord spoke to me, said, starting from today, when your children are welcoming you, they should welcome your husband first and you come in. Did you hear me, Pastor Justice? So my husband is with me. I am ministering with him. He's here with me. He's backing me up. I have already stepped in my today. I, have, I don't know how you see it, though. If the pastor say, well, he said, I am with him. The Bible says we are taken from him, meaning he's beside me. Meaning I am here. I am Oh my God. Is somebody hearing that too? See in a different way. Somebody said deliverance from the head. Once the Lord delivers your head, you begin to occupy, or you begin to think the way he wants you to think. But now your mind is, is attacked. Your mindset is in a wrong village of your father's village, hooked there, not allowing you to see who you are. Hello? Am I communicating to somebody? Am I blessing somebody yeah. already? Amen, amen. There are many families today that have kept people in bondage by affecting their visions. There are many families in the villages, in the calabashes. Your minds are affected by your sangomas. Your mind affected by where you are coming from. There are people who are affected by their past. They can't move. All you see is tears. All you see is pain. All you see is your mother. All you see is your father. All you see is what they did for you. Why don't you see now? What is happening from seeing now? What is blocking your mind from seeing now? shifting. What is your problem? Father, deliver me. I carry a prophecy that I cannot fail. On my head that is anointing, of course, the Bible has said he anoints my head. In my fasting, he has anointed me for new visions. Hello. Lose a member of past than to lose a member of now. Lose a member of past histories. 
fast longevity. Lose that member. Lose that member. Lose that member. Lose that member of pain. Lose that member. It has become a member. You are a member of problem. You are a member of situation. You are a member of humiliation. You are a member of disgrace. Disconnect yourself from that membership. That is a wrong membership. How can you be counted of a membership of pains of headache? You carry a member card. You say, I use me, I sign with a member of problems. I'm a member. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Where are the members of headache? You say, Mama, it's me. You see, I have. In fact, I have. You are a member of problems. The Bible is saying one of your members that you are whole body be cast into hell. I am not a member of headache problem. I am not a member of situations. I am not a member. Disconnect yourself from Baker from such members. Amen. Hello. Or well, maybe you did not read it. It is better that you lose one of your members. What is that member? Pain. Lose him. Ah. Uh -uh. Lose that boyfriend that has hooked you in problem for three years. You can't move. That's a member. That is a member. My God. They are members of problems. You, you have a tag of excess only. Your mind is hooked on excess. That's a member. What are you doing with that member? He said, Kamaya, it is better that you lose one of your members, that you are whole body to be cast in the hair. Members of pain, members of, of, of problems. Remember, you are a member of masturbation at your age. A member of masturbation. A member of disgrace. A member of pain. They see you and say, oh, that's our member, that's our member. Satan addresses you as one of his members. One, you attend Satan's membership. You have a partnership with Satan, a member to go to hell. It is a shame. Yet they are, they are partnership cards of any kingdom. You don't want to get it, but you are a member of a headache problem. A member of poverty. The poverty knows you as members. <laughs> Arsa has registered your name. You are a member of Arsa. There's some of you hospitals knows you as their member. They say, ah, that's our customer. It's a shame. Say, in the name of Jesus, I am not a member of problems. I am not a member of dest destiny killers. I'm not a member of humiliations. I'm not a member of every satanic and demonic and situation frustrations. In the name of Jesus. Say, when you fast, put your mouth. Perfume your head. Am I communicating to somebody? Marakaya. Jebele Kabahaya. Lika Patelekos. Melibra has to tell the company. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 Am I helping you at all? Hello. Hallelujah. Mata bayana. Anytime you need, hama kubra hasika baya. Zika baratus eleka pahatea. Jelebrantos i palakato prahatia barandi. Lebrentos i kaparakato prahadus elente. Zegegedele getia. Hallelujah. The head is affected because of a mouth. Hello. How many of you, when you know that your teeth is paining, the whole head has been affected? <laughs> How many of you, by your character, everything on your head has become bad? Your character has crossed. You just speak one mouth, one word. One word, justice. One word, Rebecca. Help us go. How many of you, that your ears... Once it hears, what it hears, wrong news, it affects everything on you. You lose trust. Are you seeing why the, the enemy is attacking your head? Eh? Because you, you, he has given you negativity. 
Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. The head is affected because of your mouth. The last helper stopped because of your attitude. Your attitude. Young girl, your attitude. Young man, your attitude has stopped you. your helpers. Your attitude. Man, Tali Brahasia. Am I communicating to somebody? Marika Tabaradia. Mara Parabadabada. Every chance of character brings a fresh helper. Every chance, every change of a character brings a new helper. Every chance of a character or change of a character, once you change your character, new helpers automatically come in. But because of your attitude, your mouth, man telecopathy about Am I communicating to somebody? I'll repeat it again. Every change of character brings fresh helpers. When God wants to bring a new helper, you must cultivate a new attitude. Somebody say attitude. How is your attitude? Your attitude has killed a sister. Your attitude has killed a person. Your attitude has killed your marriage. Your attitude. Your attitude. Your attitude is bad. Your approach is bad. Your character has scattered every good thing. Somebody said the head is affected because of your mouth. The head is affected because of the words that comes out of you. The head cannot move forward because of how you behave. Some say, Lord, deliver my mouth. Lord, deliver my mouth. Lord, deliver my mouth. Am I helping somebody? I began by saying the head is affected because you carry a prophecy. Your head is affected because your head is a symbol of acceptance. How is your character? Today, Sister Maria gave us the word of God. It says, your body is the temple of God. Your body is the temple of God, but your character has killed the temple of God. Somebody said, act you. Hello. So you know now what should be delivered. Either your vision, either your attitude of your mouth, either the things you are hearing. You only like negative. You never hear anything good. Am I clear, Pastor Justice? Is that right? Or I should stop here wasting your time. We can hear you. Praise the Lord. Hello. Me. Amen. Your attitude has stopped many people. Look at your mouth. You do talk. You can't keep, you talk everything. You don't know the enemy is affecting your beauty or your mouth. Nobody can marry you because of your mouth. You do like negative every time. You, you have fed yourself negative, that, you, that the negative has become so bitter that your face look like Zimbabwe. Oh, not Zimbabwe. <laughs> Ay, not Zimbabwe. Chimpanze. <laughs> Zimbabwe is a good country. <laughs> People from Zimbabwe. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> if you are from Zimbabwe, I'm sorry. I meant chimpanzee. Praise the Lord. Am I complicated? <laughs> Somebody will not cut this short. I said, Mama said, Ah, your mouth is like Zimbabwe. No, I said chimpanzee. <laughs> it was a joke. Praise Master Jesus. Somebody say, Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. 
my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Are you learning something? Yes, so. Mati di brahasia bay. Abara dia dos in tabay. Zegebelega dia gados. Mari brahasika bayan. Marasi eleka tayana. Marikos ibraga dos enta. Maraka tabara tia tayana. Zebelika baraka dos dia. Somebody say, I am worthy over a million dollar because that's how i see myself am i helping somebody hallelujah Amen. no let me stop here because if i continue i've given you more than enough today i'm too ex ex exhausted if you missed it it is on youtube it is on tiktok i'm gonna send the one on TikTok. If you are just coming now, you are worth. It. I want you to go and write this one. I am worth it over a million dollar. On your TikTok, on your Facebook, tag somebody. Say I am worth it over what? A million dollar. The head of John the Baptist was worth it. Half a kingdom. Imagine. Are you hearing me? If do, do you know they said they asked the lady what should we give you he said the head of john the baptist meaning the head of john alone was worthy half a kingdom even more than a kingdom are you seeing how you water you are are you seeing how you water you are say lord deliver me deliver me deliver me deliver me I want to speak about attitude a little bit. As some ladies attitude kill. If you speak, people will disappear. You are too beautiful, but when you open, you are like Uzziah's grave. Praise the Lord. Have you uh, have you ever seen somebody so beautiful, but when they talk, you run? Once they talk, you run. Have you ever seen handsome, smart guys? <laughs> Once they speak, eh, Uzziah comes out of their mouth. You run. Have you ever seen smart people that you would want to become your friend, but when you come next to them, you take off? Because their attitude. Your attitude has stopped your, your helpers. People have stopped talking to you because of your attitude. People have stopped respecting you because of your attitude. People have stopped communicating with you because of your behavior. Change your behavior, girls. Change your behavior as married women. Change your behavior as married men. Change your behavior as pastors. Change the way you are seeing things. Your character stinks. People would want to be with you. People would want, but... That there is this aroma of attitude around you that makes people run. Is somebody hearing me? You are asking yourself, why did this person stop talking to me? Because your attitude. Your attitude cannot be. Is somebody hearing me? What kills beautiful ladies is attitude. The person has already concluded they want to marry, but when they reach you, my God, they run. They run. They take off. They say, if I stay with this person for five days, I'll be dead. <laughs> if I stay with this person, Oza will kill me. Hello. Deliverance of the hair. Deliverance of the eyes. Deliverance of the mouth. Deliverance of the nose. Your nose smells. And once your nose smells bad, something bad, even if you love that woman that does not clean herself properly, you will run. Even if you are in love, Pastor Justice, and you notice something that is, you will run. Nobody wants to stay a near person that stinks. Is somebody hearing me? Rebecca, why are you looking at me like that? 
has, has you ever been a, a near person and when they open their shoe you take off <laughs> amen <laughs> no matter how you love that person have you ever has somebody ever risen their armpit next to you you run that such attitude is no good that aroma is no good praise the lord what did i say the head the face the eyes the nose the mouth and the ears so what you allow to hear affects of your tomorrow and of your now there are many of you cannot marry because of what you had your father do to your mother you're working in 1992 not in 2024 because of what you allowed the enemy attack on your ear the enemy has many things to attack on your face your beauty your head your eyes your ears in your mouth what did the enemy attack on samson he took the hair the hair speaks of glory some of you let everybody touch your hair everybody the bible said don't be quickly to let your head be touched because you don't know somebody can put something or take something away from you the pastor put it touch my head touch my head touch my head you do like people to touch your head why don't, why don't you touch your own head <laughs> amen have i helped you so i'm gonna give you two minutes to tell me what did you learn i start with pastor justice i saw you writing you and rebecca i don't know what you're writing what did you learn then we will cross god bless you i'll continue with these teachings tomorrow praise master jesus hallelujah why is, why is everywhere quiet in the house hallelujah today's amen. teaching amen. I, I want to i must say god is a merciful god i want to thank him i want to honor him for giving me the privilege to humble me to be in his presence not because of what he gives but for what he has been doing in my life thank you so much mama for ministering for listening to us by the help of the holy spirit today i learned a lot but i'll go i will just brief it so that you can have you and i can have the opportunity to say what you have learned hallelujah there's something mama uh, stick on she said deliverance of the head it came to my mind that our head what she just said now someone can touch your head and take your destiny and you'll be misbehaving so someone can pretend to pray for you and take your glory away ah i pray that no one will take our glory away because by the contact touching your head it will be taken away from you but i pray that god almighty will restore it in the mighty name of jesus there's something again that she stated praise master jesus he says deliverance of sight okay let's just say deliverance of visions visions do you know you know our visions have been taken away we no longer see future we only see past this is not memory this is sight like you're having vision instead of you to be seeing future you are seeing the backward the things that happened in the past instead of you to focus on the things of the present we are dealing with the present things not past things we are not talking about demons that fight you days back. No, we are talking about the one that are about to attack you. The dangers, all the things, the progress that they are about to focus. We are not being seen. It's been taken away by the things of the world. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Is your mind taking you where I'm still going? The teacher really explain a little. I, 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 I must not call it a little. It's explain more more bigger than what i thought but 
once I begin to write, I begin to have more revelation on it. But I pray that the more revelation will come and you also receive yours in the mighty name of Jesus. I will allow you to also share what you have learned. God bless you. Abio, what did you learn? to hear what people learned so I can close. What did you learn? I always love to, I, I, I always, I always love to, to see people learning. Apple, what did you learn? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I've learned a lot, but uh, what I've learned and uh, what I'm taking home is how worthy is my head and how precious is my head you know uh, in the beginning like when you read in matthew 6 17 i was like like this is the scripture i've been reading when you first put oil on your head but like i've not yet uh, like I had not got that uh, revelation that it's to change your mindset when you're fasting and when you ask when you ask us like how many of you change the mindset or change the thinking when you're fasting it touched it really touched my head and my my heart and i was rebuked so uh, what i'm going with home is to always change my minds and uh, always let God to lead me, not my thinking, but God, uh, the Holy Spirit to lead me. Thank you very much and God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a very powerful um, blessings from, from you to us. You say you are going, that your head is precious. Wow. I am taking that word. Uh, my head is precious. My head is tangible. What have you learned, Maureen, the chosen one, the Lord? Peace be upon us. Greetings, Mama and Saints. Can you hear me well? It's so clear. Okay. What I have learned today is that our head is so sensitive. What you're giving it is what it's taking. If you give it a negative mind, of course, you'll be thinking negativity. Or if someone told you something, instead of thinking what you saw or what could be the right, you're only taking the one which has been told by a friend or someone. And I also learned that what my parents passed through will, could not stop me. If I knew that the like my elders are not getting married, I should, I don't have to put it in my mind that I will also not get married. I have to focus on what is coming, on what is coming after, not what came before. And also learned that I should have to respect my head. Not everyone, not every how, not everyone have to touch my head because I might not know why someone wants to touch my head. This is also a point. And what's next? I have something next I forget. I'm forgetting and it was almost my first. You, you oh deliverance from the head. That's why we're saying deliverance from the head. Amen. But thank you for learning. Who else? Rebecca, what will you have run? Maria, what did you learn? Nadia hmm? Oman. Daughter, promise. You're too quiet. Yes, right. please, mommy. What did you learn, daughter? I uh, thank you so much uh, once again. Thank you so much for that amazing preaching that you've that you've given us. Indeed, it's a season to wake up and to to clean every negative mind 